Hello, what's up? What's happening? Welcome back for yet another Miles Talkers 24 7 production. Today, we got SAU taking on number five, NC State. Hopefully, if we win this ball game, we'll be ranked in the top 10, and hopefully, that will lead us to a BCS ball game. Man, right off the bat, my man Chris Cooper, he putting the ball on the turf. Like, what are you doing, man? I right, he a Heisman candidate, so I'm going to let that go. But then on the very next play, he fumbles the football again. That's not what we want to see. Especially when he's a Heisman finalist. Like, come on, bro. You got to make sure that you do what you're supposed to do so, so we can get that trophy for SIU. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, Butler, whoop, makes a man miss. Whoop, makes another miss. Then hurdles a man. I mean, he just got off right there. My goodness gracious. So I'm guessing that Butler, he had the mindset that I'm going to just take this ball game over quick, fast, and in a hurry with that nice run right there. So we take over. Got to give the ball right back to Chris Cooper. Yeah, I know he fumbled twice in a row, but it's Chris Cooper we talking about. So anyways, man, he gets up field, picks up a first down. Now on third down, we go with the play action pass, and Chris Harris gets in there for that sack. And that is a big time sack. So it's second and ten after we punt the ball right back to the Wolf Pack. They get the ball to that halfback. Up oh, that guy. And look at him fight for it for a nice gain of about nine. They go right back to him. No, it's a play fake going over the middle. But get, get, get that thing about it here. Now we get the ball right back. Richard Thompson, he's going to pick up. A first down. Move those chains for the Bulls. Now we got to get the ball to Hargrove. Hargrove gets up field. He's going to pick up a first down. Move those chains for the SAU Bulls. Now it's Chris Cooper turn. Whoop! Makes a man miss. He ain't done though. Whoop! Makes a man miss. Get off me, son. And then he's going to pick up a huge first down in the process. Big time game right there. Check out the replay. He didn't make not one person miss. Not just two people miss. And then he just said, beasted and feasted. He was like, get off me, son. He was like, get off me. Then check out this guy. Oh, my goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. My man Smith is like, I'm going to just toss that thing up to Chad, and Chad going to bring it down. I'm like, yes, sir. Yes, sir, he will. So NC State, they take over. We get a sack. They kick off the drives. Now it's third and 15 from the 12-yard line. Butler with time. Throws it to the left. That's going to be a catch for Harris. Move those chains for the big tight end. So it's first and 10 to get the ball to Maru. And he's going to pick up a nice first down. Break and tackle. Spinning off of people. He's going to pick up another first down for the NC State Wolfpack. Now Butler has time. Can drop this one off to the flat. And that's going to be a nice game to eight. So NC State, they're putting together a nice little drive. I'm looking for some on defense to step up, but never mind. That guy just won't go for the ball. That's follow me. 7-7 seven, seven ball game. Get the ball to Chris Cooper. And look at the speed from the big fella. Oh my goodness. First damn Bulls. That's what I want to see. Get the ball right back to Chris Cooper. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Makes a man miss. Then runs another over, and you guessed it. Picked up another first down. If you notice, he's about 183 yards away from 2,000. If we can get that, that would be crazy. Gonna drop back the pass here on third down. That pass hits the grass, so it's still a 7-7 ball game. We gotta go get the ball right back to NC State. Gonna find Harris, the big tight end in the flat, and he's gonna pick up a nice gain of nine. Then gonna go with the speed option. And that right there is gonna be another first down. So second and 10, 34, y'all on get his NC State. Foster comes up from the strong safety position and brings down the halfback. So now it's third and nine for the 35. Can we make a play? No, we're gonna leave their impact player, the tight end, Harris, wide open. He makes the catch. And that's going to be another first down. So can we step up? Butler's like, I'm not going to let y'all step up because I'm going to take off and run. Nice game right there. Play action pass under pressure. And that pass hits the grass. That's just ugly. How you going to blame the tight end for that when that pass was clearly your fault? Anyways, we get the ball right back after they punt Richie Thompson, the speed option. Excuse me, not the speed option, but the direct snap using his speed to pick up the first down. Then Hall goes like, I can do it too, man. Don't forget about me. And he picks up a first down. So you know how we do it. We grab and pound all day long but the mission is to try to get this man right here to hide already over 100 yards rushing on eight carries makes the man missing the hole gets up field makes another miss them beasting him beasting his way downfield move those chains for the SAU Bulls now just go right up that guy and Chris Cooper he's gonna pick up a nice gain of about nine so it's second and one you know who we're going to Chris Cooper breaking tackles I mean every run of his is as nice in my opinion, maybe not in your opinion, but in my opinion, everyone is just nice as he gets it to the end zone. Touchdown, Bulls. 14 to 7. Not only are we trying to get him to Heisman, but we win this ball game. We should be on pace, on track, 
to get one of those big time bowls. You know what I'm saying? It would be nice to be in like the Rose Bowl, Fiesta Bowl, the Sugar Bowl, one of those bowls, man. One of those big time bowls that would be nice. But right there, look at him off the race. I'm chasing him down with K though, and we finally do bring him down. So nice run right there. Second of 14, they go with the little read option. Butler's gonna take it to about the three yard line. Move though, Shane gets to the first and go. He's like, I'm gonna do it again, coach. And he gets in there. Touchdown, NC State. And now, can we get something going on offense? We cannot turn the ball over in this situation. Smith is going to roll out, throw back across the body. And that's exactly what we didn't want to do as Parker gets the INT. So now, NC State, they have a chance to take the lead, right? They're already in field goal position. Butler is looking, takes a shot deep. But get that thing about it. Here, what are you doing? So now it's third and four. They're going to go with the run game. But come on, man. We are still the best defense in the country, man. We still got the best linebacker court in the country, if you had to ask me. So, again, they have to set up for a field goal, man. So, 7 to 14 is the score. We get the ball right back. What are we going to do with it this time? Dropping back the pass, taking the shot, the call, and it's picked off again. At this point, please don't slam your cell phones down, your tablets, your computer screens, your TVs. Don't do that, all right? We still have plenty of time. Two bad passes, yes, have ha that put us in a bad predicament, but right there, our defense steps up, making it fourth and four. John Matt, the pass is bully. He steps up, but guess who's there? Bonner is there for the big time tackle, and now we have a chance to maybe get the lead right back. My man Smith taking the shot to Chad Johnson makes the catch. Touchdown, Bulls. Let's go. That's exactly what we needed, man. That's exactly what the doctor ordered. Take a shot deep to Chad, because Chad Johnson is medicine, man. And he is the medicine man. And he gets this thing into the touchdown, man. So there we go, man. There we go, man. 21 to 17. Back on top. Going into halftime. And again, this is very important because we don't have a 13th game. We don't have a conference championship game. So you know we got to do work. So basically, like, this is our conference championship game as Bonnet gets in there for the sack for a loss now. I mean, for a tackle for a loss, excuse me. So now it's third down, and I'm right there with Bonner again, but we can't get the pick. What's going on? So now Butler, look at Butler. Throwing going to find Harrison on the right side, steps out of bounds. The only picks up a couple. Now they can go right back with the speed option. Butler's going to break a tackle, get up out of bounds. You see him trying to hit him just a little bit late. Maybe rough up the quarterback just a tad bit. So second and ten now. They go right back to the ground game, breaking tackles. Beast it, beast his way downfield. Nobles brings him down, but now until he picks up a first down. Now the crowd's getting into it. Third and four. They know that this is a very, very big play, and Butler Butler breaks not one, but two tackles, gets up field, breaks another, and finally gets dropped at about the six yard line. Now it's second and goal from the one yard, and they go with the jumbo set, but guess who is there? My man, K. Let's go. Gets the big time sack, set up third and goal, under pressure is Butler, and down he goes again, and this time he's down for good. Breaks his collarbone. He is out for the rest of the ball game. So they have to settle for a field goal. Kick is up. Kick is good. 20 to 21 is their score. SAU takes over, giving the ball to guess who? Chris Cooper, number 15 in their program, number one in your heart. That's right, baby. Chris Cooper takes the carry again. Chris Cooper gets up field, and he's going to pick up another first down big time game right there. Got to get the ball to Hargrove. You know what I'm saying? It is running back by committee here at SAU. We are running back you. So even though Chris Cooper's trying to get that Heisman, we got to feed everybody. Now my man Smith looking, throwing, going to find Mark Cole. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Move those chains. We're still up by one. We're going to find Ryan Ross, the big boss, and he's going to pick up another first down. Haven't called his name in a while, but you know we got to get the ball to Chris Cooper. Get those touchdowns up. You know what I'm saying? Let the Heisman committee know that he is the real deal. Up by eight, but it's still a one-possession game. We need our defense to step up, and right there, look at this running back. He is having himself a day, but it's not... It's not, it's not like a Chris Cooper day. He's not, he's not killing us right now. He's not destroying us right now, but he is the best thing going for them. They ran the ball on third down. It makes no sense to me. So we take over. We get the ball to Chris Cooper. He gets hog tied up top. Whatever. He has 167 yards on 20 carries. We give him carry number 21, and he picks up a first down. 
Let's go. 175 yards. Can we get him over 200? We get the ball to Hargrove, though, and Hargrove, he can't get away from that man. Hargrove is more of a power back, but whenever I use him, I just think I'm using Chris Cooper with everybody, so I try to juke everybody after their shoes and stuff like that. Going up top to Chad Johnson. He can't make the catch. Would have been a tough catch along the sideline, so NC State takes over, but give me that Yahoo! Zay! Her! I said, give me that, yeah, give me that user interception, and we got this thing going back the other way. Chris Cooper again, up there. Okay, now he's over 184 today. Drop him at the pass. Smith has nobody. Gets out the pocket. Rolling out. Rolling out. Rolling out. Going to stop. Going to pop. Going to find Chad Johnson. Let's go. You already know it's coming. Let's go, man. Huge play right there by the true freshman showing that he is the future of SAU football. Tony Campbell should be back in time for his last ever game as an SA, as a SAU Bull in that bowl game. But hopefully it's one of those big bowl games. You know what I mean? Hopefully his last game isn't like in the P4 Brady's Bowl or something like that. You know? Anyways, they're going to find Harris. Nice catch by him. Will Harris, he's a fantastic tight end. But he's no Chad Johnson. Drop at the pass is Tyler. But get that thing up out of here. What are you doing? Fourth and two now from the 43 yard line. Dropping back. Taking the shot deep. Gonna find his man. I believe it was. Is that Roach? I mean, come on, man. Your name can't be Roach. Then again, up the gut. But look who is there. Nobles. I'm gonna miss him. He has been making plays ever since he stepped on this campus. He's probably the best free safety in school history. I'm just saying, man. Anyways, Chris Cooper. He takes the carry. Gets up past the 50. And yes, now he is over. 200 yards rushing. Second and 12, we go right back to Chris Cooper with a minute 44 to go. You know we ain't worried about no sportsmanship on the Heisman difficulty. Uh-uh. We trying to get my man the Heisman trophy. That's it. So we go right back to Chris Cooper. Crosses the 20. Inside the 50. Breaks two tackles. It gets down to the 5. Should we take a knee? Oh, heck no. We ain't taking a knee. We trying to get this man right here. Say with me. The Heisman trophy. Chris Cooper. Touchdown. Let's go, man. Three rushing touchdowns, over 200 yards rushing. Hopefully that's enough to get my man the Heisman. We're going to have to wait to see until next video. My man Harvey puts icing on the cake with that INT. And you already know what walking about it here with the victory, man. So big time win. We beat the number five team in the country after beating the number one team in the country. If that doesn't get us a BCS bowl game, I do not know what will. I mean, y'all tell me what I need to do. Tell me what I need to do, man. Okay? We beat... I mean, our only losses are to Oregon State and Notre Dame, and they're both in the top 10, man. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video as always. I enjoyed bringing it to you. I hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day, and I'm going to see y'all later. Peace. Hot sauce.